So hello everyone, welcome back to class number 36 in which we are going to discuss about how can you make your portfolio, right? Your first ever portfolio, your first ever professional portfolio if you have never made one, right? That's what we are going to do in this class. My name is Tarun Madam. Video editing has changed my life and it can change yours too. You know Tarun speaks quality, quantity. So before this class, you already had one session about an introduction to portfolio making, right? So what did we discuss in that, right? The first thing that we discussed is you should choose a platform to make your portfolio. And then you should actually write about yourself, the work that you did, what are you, who are you, where are you from and all of this basic data about yourself, right? And then you need to update your best work over there. You shouldn't just update, but you should also organize the best uh, work over there, right? These are some of the basic things that we have talked about. And finally, you should also have contact information over there because a lot of the profiles which even I get, which my friends also get, uh, which other creators also complain about a lot is people send their portfolio, but then how do we contact them back, right? They don't send their contact information, right? We get the portfolio from somewhere, but we can't contact them. That's the worst thing that can happen, right? So with that being said, we'll talk about these things. You should choose a platform first, right? So what are the platforms? Like what are the platforms that we have? The first is we have Behance, we have Notion, we have Google Drive, which is the worst of all. You have YouTube, which is also a portfolio, which is also worse. You have Fueler, which is good. We have Card.io, which is also good, right? So in this session, we are going to teach you uh, how to make websites like this. For example, I've just used a dummy name over here. So Ashwin Segi, four years of this, will exactly be teaching you how can you make portfolios which look like this. This is a very simple one. I've made it in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'll explain you how to do the same, but yeah. You have nice little animations coming here, all of the stuff, right? And then you also have this hover effect when you click on thumbnails, right? And then you have interested to work with me, phone number and mail, right? This is exactly the stuff that we are going to do. So how did I do it? Very simple thing. We have something called card.co, right? So just open your laptops, just do it along with me or do it later, just see how I'm doing it, right? For this exact portfolio that I was showing you before a while, this thing, you need a couple of things, right? What do you need? You need a couple of videos that you already edited, a couple of thumbnails that you already have made or something like that. And you need your display picture if you don't have one, right? These are some of the things that you need, right? So that being said, let's actually get started with how can you make your portfolio, right? So before this, how to make your portfolio well session, I would strongly recommend you to watch the introduction to portfolio making wala session once again and then watch this all right so that being said let's actually get started the first thing first you need to do is go to c a r r d card.co right once you do this you can either you know choose a starting point or you can already open a dashboard right i mean first things first what is card this is not paid and all of the stuff yeah so with this card you can make free professional websites freely. I mean, I already said free, but yeah. So you can just click on this, choose a starting point, right? Once you click on that, you'll be having multiple things. For example, you'll be having all of those things, right? For example, you can just, I'll just click on demo here. And you see, we have, you can just change the information over here. This is already this thing. You all have this thing, this thing. So basically I've made a very simple thing. For example, if you see mine, uh, Ashwin Segi one. This is a very simple one, right? But you can have so many other things also, right? But just to make it simple, this is like a easiest thing that you can make. And also very clear, right? You don't want to confuse your clients. Or be like, ye hai, ye hai, and all of this stuff. Just make it simple for them, right? So again, I'm just removing this template. Yeah, you can just basically go through all these things. For example, this profile ka character where you can just, you know, just select any of those things or you can also go to landing page as well a thing. Uh, 
right? Basically, just explore this. You'll be able to find a lot of this stuff. Uh, and then you have form, portfolio. Portfolio, I didn't actually like it much. But yeah, uh, don't make it complex. Your portfolio should be as if you're spoon feeding your content to people, right? Just don't make it very, very complex. Uh, this is a good one. Maybe you can have videos while a section here, images while a section or thumbnails while a section over here, or best work over here. So this is a good thing, right? For example, you can just use it and this will be a good uh, stuff. What you can actually do is have a notion page where you have attached some of the best videos that you edited and put it over here. And best thumbnails on one more notion page, you can put it over here, right? So basically what I'm trying to tell you is just explore this. You'll be able to make wonderful, wonderful websites from here, right? But yeah, for just this tutorial ka sake, what I'll try to do is I'll start with uh, something simple, right? For example, I'll just go to profile and maybe I'll select mm, this, this, everything works. Maybe I'll select this, right? Once I selected this, you can, you know, basically upload your image over here change your name over here, write something over here, get in touch. And now if you have to get more down, right? For example, you can click here and, and then click on this plus wala section and then go to something called as container. What is a container? If you have already been into web design or web development or something like that, container is something, uh, it's like a container, like just imagine a container where you can have different set of things. You can put in videos over there. You can write about something. You can write about a product. You can write about an image and all of this stuff. And that will be in a box, right? Just, just imagine actually container, right? Just click on this container and you'll be having this empty thing, right? Once you click here, inside this container, you'd be able to add more things. For example, I want to add a text, right? In text may, what I'll try to do is, in the left side, right, here is the place where you can actually modify what this text is. I'll say videos, right, or maybe my best videos or something like that, right, my best videos or something like that. And then you can click here and you can change the size of this, all of this stuff, right. You can just change the appearance and all of those things, right. And then you have this thing, the third button, this is about animation, like when you actually scroll and come to this part of the website, how do you want that animation to be done? Do you want it to slide from left to right or upper se niche or right to left? So this third one is the animation wala part. The first one is the text that you're changing. The second thing is how the text looks. The third thing is how it is animated inside and all, right? And then you have a couple of uh, settings and all of them. Don't just change any settings. Uh, just keep it to normal thing. Right. So once you have your my best video solo section, again, click on the container. Now click here, add a video, right? Now this video can be an embedded wala video where you are basically adding a YouTube wala link. For example, if I'm adding this link, this YouTube will already there. Like YouTube ka video will already be appearing here, right? Now you click here again, add here, add a text again. Maybe now you can say something like, uh, my second video, right? And then again, click on the container, click on this button, then add one more, right? And then embed again, the next video, right? So in this way, you can have uh, like your introduction in the first page, your best works in the second page, maybe your best thumbnails in the third page and the contact information in the last page, right? That's how you can build upon this. There's a card wallet tutorial. Now let's actually go to the website that I have built using card in like 10, 15 minutes, right? So what I've done is first things first, my name is Ashwin Segi, imagine, right? So what I've done, see, four years of experience in video editing and graphic design, just cut, copy, paste, like just like, this is my case, right? Then specialized in Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop and Illustrator. Edited over 200 videos in multiple formats, types and platforms, right? Now this get in touch wala button, you already have it here, right? Get in touch, you just click and then you can add an email, right? Email, this is the email, ka whatever it is. For example, uh, it can be the boring at the rate of gmail.com or something like that, yeah. So if you just click on this, people will be diverted to mailing that, right? And then 
you have some of these icons you can again click on these and change these things you can add in more icons if you want right so basically you have all the flexibility coming back i added my youtube ka link my instagram ka link linkedin ka link twitter ka link and all of the stuff and then i have written something like choose from a wide range of videos that i have edited that i edit first one is explainer video i just added a text in the container and then a video section right and then vlogs again one more video documentaries again one more video i provide unlimited revisions yes right and then and yeah i also make thumbnails which make you click first thumbnail i added a hover effect here how, let's see how do we add it right so just come here add an image uh, i'll add a gallery right once i add a gallery i can have multiple images in the same gallery right that's what a gallery means like pretty uh, like obvious so here i can add a image add one more image so basically you can just keep adding images and also if you go here you'll see what's the width and the spacing that is there right and then how the animation has to be there and also images on hover none i can glow it or basically like like zoom in or zoom out or something like that right what i've done in my case in this website ashwin seki here now here i added a zoom out wall effect like basically it's becoming bigger wala thing right so i added that gallery is done and then finally added one separator or something like that interested in working with me phone mail right it's a very simple thing very easy to understand right uh, you don't even need anything just open one of these things for example uh, choose a starting point just start with anything like for example you can just start with maybe a portfolio right uh i'll do one more example i'm selecting this right restore now skip so here we have title maybe here i can write something like tarun speaks right or uh, and then come here just decrease it a bit taki it's looking like this right line speaking indent first line appearance upper gas nothing no 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 drop shadow nothing well yeah all of these things is fine right so now you can just change whatever it is like and then go down upload a image over here then add something like that also one more creative thing that you can do you can go to canva right and then you can have some of these things like a gifs added instead of images so what these things will do is you can when you download it over here you'll have like a image playing for example i'll just show you right uh for example if i just open it here just look at it i mean you have to match the dimensions on all of these things but yeah so basically just explore this card and you'd be able to make amazing 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 websites and portfolios for yourself right so with that being said now like once you finish this class the first thing that you have to do is collect some of the best edited videos that you have collect some of the thumbnails that you have right and then so basically this is what i'm trying to say right uh, so collect some of the videos that you have right collect some of the best thumbnails that you made collect some of the graphic designs that you had right and have like a portfolio wala you know showcase image right so have a image for yourself right now open card and start making your own portfolio got it so that's how simple it is got it easy so in the next class once you finish this portfolio it means like you have a the skill what is that video editing and then you have a portfolio to showcase right in the next class we'll be talking about all the ways that you can use to get your first client ever but before watching that class i want you to finish making your own portfolio all right without portfolio that class will be useless right first make a portfolio and then what's the next class which is about how to reach out to people it's not just how do you reach out it's like a complete marketing a course crash course whatever you call it theek okay? hai so the next class is going to be very important in which you'll actually know how where and all of the stuff to get your first client ever all right
So if you do this thing right and then move on to the next thing, next class, which is about how to reach out to people, how to get your first client, I'm telling you, you will be having a paid client, right? So that being said, I'll see you in the next class. Bye. Bye-bye.